Hello and welcome back to our podcast. Today we have a very interesting topic to discuss, the verses from Genesis 28 and their impact on our daily lives. Yes, I'm excited to dive into this discussion. The verses in Genesis 28 tell the story of Jacob's dream at Bethel, where God appeared to him and made a covenant with him. It's a powerful and symbolic passage that carries a lot of meaning. Absolutely. In verse 15, God says to Jacob, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. This assurance of God's presence and protection is something that can greatly impact our daily lives. That's right. Knowing that we are not alone and that God is watching over us can provide comfort and strength in the face of challenges and uncertainties. It can give us the confidence to face each day with courage and faith. Verse 16 describes Jacob's response to this encounter with God. It says, When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. This verse reminds us to be mindful of God's presence in our lives, even in the ordinary and mundane moments. It's so easy to get caught up in the busyness of life and forget to acknowledge the sacredness of the present moment. Being aware of God's presence can help us stay grounded and connected to our spiritual selves, even in the midst of our daily routines. In verse 17, Jacob declares, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. This recognition of the holiness of the place where he encountered God challenges us to see the divine in our surroundings and to approach each moment with reverence and awe. Yes, treating our surroundings with respect and gratitude can cultivate a sense of mindfulness and appreciation in our daily lives. It can help us find beauty and meaning in the most ordinary things, transforming our routines into moments of worship and reflection. Verse 18 describes Jacob's response to this momentous encounter. It says, Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone he had placed under his head and set it up as a pillar and poured oil on top of it. This act of consecrating the place where he met God reflects the human impulse to mark sacred moments and create tangible reminders of divine presence. Creating rituals and symbols in our daily lives can help us connect with the spiritual realm and stay attuned to the sacredness of everyday existence. It can provide us with a sense of continuity and grounding, reminding us of our place in the larger tapestry of existence. In verse 20, Jacob makes a vow to God, saying, If God will be with me and will watch over me on this journey I am taking and will give me food to eat and clothes to wear. This act of surrender and commitment shows Jacob's willingness to trust in God's providence and guidance in all aspects of his life. Trusting in God's provision and care can help us release our fears and anxieties about the future, allowing us to live with a sense of peace and contentment in the present moment. It can free us from the burden of trying to control every aspect of our lives and instead cultivate a spirit of surrender and acceptance. Finally, in verse 22, Jacob sets up a pillar as a memorial stone and declares, This stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house, and of all that you give me, I will give you a tenth. This act of generosity and gratitude demonstrates Jacob's commitment to giving back to God and acknowledging the abundance of blessings in his life. Giving back to God and others can help us cultivate a spirit of generosity and compassion in our daily interactions. It can remind us of the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of sharing our resources and blessings with those in need. These verses from Genesis 28 remind us of the power of divine encounters and the impact they can have on our daily lives. By cultivating awareness of God's presence, reverence for the sacred, and trust in divine providence, we can transform our routines into moments of spiritual significance and growth. Genesis chapter 28 specifically focusing on verses 10 to 15, and exploring the impact these verses can have on our daily lives. That's right. I'm really excited to explore these verses with you today. In Genesis 28, 10, 15, we read about Jacob's dream at Bethel. It's a powerful and inspiring passage that can teach us a lot about faith, purpose, and the presence of God in our lives. Absolutely. In this passage, Jacob has a dream in which he sees a ladder reaching up to heaven with angels ascending and descending on it. And at the top of the ladder stands the Lord who renews the covenant with Jacob and promises to be with him, to protect him, and to bring him back to his homeland safely. This dream is a profound moment for Jacob as it reveals to him the divine presence and protection that surrounds him, even in the midst of uncertainty and fear. 
It reminds him that he is not alone, that God is with him wherever he goes, and that he has a purpose and a destiny that is greater than he can imagine. That's such a powerful message, and it's one that can have a significant impact on our daily lives as well. In our busy and often chaotic routines, it can be easy to lose sight of the bigger picture, to feel overwhelmed by the challenges we face, and to forget that we are not alone in our struggles. That's so true. The story of Jacob's dream reminds us that no matter what we are going through, no matter how lost or afraid we may feel, God is always there, watching over us, guiding us, and protecting us. It's a comforting and reassuring truth that can give us strength and hope in the midst of difficult circumstances. Absolutely. And not only does this passage remind us of God's presence in our lives, but it also points to the importance of faith and trust in Him. Jacob's response to the dream is one of awe and reverence. He recognizes the holiness of the place where he's standing, and he declares that surely the Lord is in this place. That's right. Jacob's acknowledgement of God's presence in that moment is a powerful example for us to follow. It challenges us to be more mindful of the sacred moments in our own lives, to recognize the hand of God at work in the ordinary and extraordinary moments that make up our days. And as we cultivate that awareness of God's presence, we can also find the courage and the strength to embrace our own calling and purpose. Just as God reassured Jacob of his protection and guidance, so too can we trust that God has a plan for each of us, that he is leading us forward with love and wisdom. That's such a beautiful and comforting truth to hold on to. As we reflect on the story of Jacob's dream at Bethel, may we be inspired to trust in God's presence in our lives, to have faith in His promises, and to walk boldly in the path He has set before us. That's right. These verses hold deep meaning and guidance for us in our everyday routines. Let's start by looking at Genesis 28, verses 16 to 22. In these verses, we see Jacob's encounter with God at Bethel where he has a powerful dream of a stairway to heaven with angels ascending and descending. Yes, Jacob is awestruck by this vision and realizes that God is present in that place, even though he wasn't initially aware of it. This can remind us that God is always with us, even in the midst of our everyday activities and surroundings. We may not always recognize his presence, but he is there, guiding and watching over us. Absolutely. These verses also emphasize the concept of God's faithfulness and promises. In verse 15, God reassures Jacob that he will be with him, protect him, and bring him back to the land he promised to his ancestors. This serves as a reminder to us that God is faithful to his promises and will always be there for us no matter what challenges or struggles we face in our daily lives. That's so true. It's comforting to know that we can rely on God's faithfulness and trust in His promises. In our daily routines, we can sometimes get caught up in the busyness of life and forget to pause and acknowledge God's presence and faithfulness. These verses remind us to take that moment to connect with God, just like Jacob did at Bethel. Another key takeaway from these verses is the idea of reciprocity in our relationship with God. In verse 22, Jacob makes a vow to give a tenth of all that he has to God if God will be with him, protect him, and provide for his needs. This act of giving back to God out of gratitude and trust reflects the principle of stewardship in our daily lives. Yes, the principle of stewardship is important in how we manage and prioritize our resources, whether it's our time, talents, or finances. By recognizing that everything we have is ultimately a gift from God, we can cultivate a mindset of gratitude and generosity in our daily routines. Just as Jacob vowed to give back to God, we too can reflect on how we can steward our resources in a way that honors and glorifies Him. Absolutely. These verses from Genesis 28 serve as a reminder for us to acknowledge God's presence, trust in His faithfulness, and practice gratitude and stewardship in our daily lives. By incorporating these principles into our routines, we can deepen our relationship with God and experience His blessings in all aspects of our lives. Thank you for joining us on this insightful discussion. We hope these reflections on Genesis 28 have inspired you to see how God's presence and promises can impact your daily routines. Until next time, take care and stay blessed. Goodbye and God bless.